Alex about as happy to be here as I am. Mr. Buchanan's name is Matthew, not Matt. Oh, you hear that, MB? You know, we're misters and she's the mistress. You know, have you ever read Fanny Hill? Hmm? Thomas, you've already cost your house 10 penalty points this week. Would you like to try for 20? Sure. Why not? Double or nothing? You have to help me. I'm sure there's a logical explanation. I called the hospital in Seattle. They said Matthew's surgery was canceled. He never showed. Well, maybe he changed his mind. After fighting so hard to have that surgery, something's happened to him. I know it. Something like what? You're his brother, aren't you? Find out. It's going straight to voicemail. Hi, Dad, it's me, your son, David Buchanan. <laughs> uh, listen, I heard that maybe uh, Matthew's surgery was canceled, and I was just wondering if... Ask him where they are, what he did with Matthew. I am an adult. I will handle this. Uh, listen, I'm here with Matthew's friend, Destiny. We haven't heard from you, and so we were just hoping maybe you'd give us a jingle. When you have a chance, that'd be super. <laughs> okay, thanks, Dad. What? That's your idea of doing something? I could have done that. Oh, I'm sorry if I implied the spankings you administered. I assure you, Mr. Buchanan, the school has never administered spanking. <laughs> oh, you'll go easy on him. Probably because you're in a wheelchair. You have just earned your house another ten penalty points. I'm confident you'll be happy here, Mr. Buchanan. Please let us know if you'd like to transfer to another room. Top of the evening to you. Which? It's not so bad. What are you, 12? I'm 15. And she isn't okay. She's the warden. Yeah, and this is a school, right? So as long as we go to class, we can come and go as much as we want, right? Yeah, we can play with the unicorns on the way out, right? You ever heard Tom Brown's school days? Well, this is a British public school, which means private and American, which means they can do whatever the hell they want to us. So we're on lockdown? Welcome to the club, my friend. Welcome to the club. You need to learn to chillax, little sister. What's the big deal? The BE jet is state-of-the-art. If it went down... I'm not we... worried about them crashing. I'm worried about what they did to Matthew. What who did? His parents. When he told them that he was going to Seattle to have the surgery, they said they wouldn't fight him anymore. That they'd all fly out together, one big happy family. The Buchanans are a big happy family. Matthew's mom begged my brother to do the surgery. And when he said he wouldn't, she lost it. Said there's nothing she wouldn't do to keep Matthew alive. That's what's known as a figure of speech. Do I have to spell it out for you? Oh, no, I'm not good at spelling. In fact, in my fifth grade spelling bee, I went out on the word... Uh, kidnapped. No. Is that one of those words that has a hyphen in it? I think Matthew's parents tricked him onto their plane and then took him somewhere he didn't want to go. I'm starting to get confused. I saw them right before they left. They seemed all jumpy. Well, what do you expect? Their son was shipping out for delicate back surgery. K-I-D-N-A-P-P-E-D. -P -P -E Are you going to help me find him or not? Listen, I know what you're going through, man, but... Your parents left you here, right? I thought I was going to Seattle. Well, <laughs> brainy enough for you. I thought I was going to get this surgery that was going to get me my life back, but I guess my parents thought differently. So, you mean... Yeah. So that's what's with the basketball sneaks, huh? Yeah. My best friend gave them to me. You know, so when I can finally walk again, I can wear them. She wants me to call her when the surgery's over. Hey, do you have a cell phone I could use? Nope. Warden took it. Listen, I know this blows, but this is our Chateau de If. This is where we bide our time. I don't have time. Look, every day I stay in this chair, that just lessens my chance of walking again. I can't live like this. 
be right back. Where are you going? Get you a phone. Yeah, who is it? Room service. I can make international calls with this? Knock yourself out. Where did you get this? From someone who's gonna probably want it back soon. So dial, man, dial. You're kind of sweet. I'm a little brother, aren't ya? Aren't ya? Aren't ya? Tell me or I'll keep doing this. Aren't ya? Hello? Destiny, it's me, Matthew. Matthew! I, I I can't hear you. What the hell are you doing with my phone? Well? Hello? What's the big deal? I borrowed your phone. Come on. You stole it! Uh, it was my fault. I was trying to call a friend. The call dropped. Well, call him back. Went straight to voicemail. Some girl's phone. Leave a message. Hey, this is a friend of Matthew Buchanan's. Can you have him call him back? Thanks. Give your name. Oh, right. My name's Destiny Evans. Matthew has my number. Bye. Yeah, there, you see that? Looks like the little road racer is okay. I guess. You guess? Oh, I get it. You're wondering who Matthew's new friend is, huh? And why he's using her phone. Am I right? Huh? There are about a million reasons that Matthew could have borrowed some girl's phone. For example, maybe he accidentally dropped it and then he ran over it and a hot nurse walks by. I mean, a sick patient with cankles. I don't care who Matthew borrowed it from. But it wasn't any nurse or patient. I told you, Matthew never made it to that hospital. Who knows if he's even in Seattle? Give me that phone a second. Oh, blimey. Looks like our old boy is in England. England? I had to call my friend Destiny. Destiny? Using my minutes? I could pay you back. Forget about it. Try asking next time. And you! Stay out of my room. Really? What would Matthew be doing over there? The family does have a compound in England. What's a compound? It's a way for rich people to circle the wagons. Live together without killing each other. I'm all out of examples. You can get in there, right? Of course I can, little girl. I'm a Buchanan. Then, let's go. Oh, hold on a second. Excuse me. Okay. You are right. I do care about Matthew. A lot. And I tried to tell him, but I couldn't do it. And now he needs my help. Needs your help with what? Getting a nice shirt and a shave on Germain Street? He's with his family in the lap of luxury. What's the problem? Matthew's in trouble. Don't ask me how I know that. I just do. He needs me. And you have to get me there. Please. Danielle Rayburn. What a bitch. I don't know, she seemed pretty cool to me.